guys, got my bags all packed. Hair looking extra floofy today. Kind of trying to channel my inner Justin Bieber circa 2007. Super excited because first time to Korea and also it's gonna be quite cold over there. In Thailand, it's like an endless summer. So I'm really looking forward to experiencing cold weather again. Sweet home Alabama. The car's almost here to pick me up, so I gotta head downstairs. All right, so I got all the luggage loaded and heading to the airport with Nootopi. Yo, Yo, see you Korea. <laughs> <laughs> me and Job live really close to each other and Job is nice enough to let me go to the airport with him. So on the way to the airport, see you guys there. You're always with me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So it's 20 past midnight. The flight's at around 1.50 in the morning. It got delayed a little bit, so burrito. After a five and a half hour flight, where I mostly slept, but also watched the feel-good classic Atonement, we arrived in Korea. Just arrived at the hotel. Let's go inside the room and see what it's like. Wow. Snacks. Korea. When I got off the bus, I was sitting at the back, so I couldn't really look out the window on the way here. And then when I got off the bus, it was like, new country. It's so crazy having seen Korea in all those Korean dramas and actually being here in person. It doesn't feel real, but I'm actually here. As you can see, there are two beds. So let's wait and see who I'm going to be sharing a room with. Hint, hint, it's always the same person. <laughs> Not bad. <Yay. laughs> and this was our first meal in Korea. It was nice. So it got about six hours until we go to our rehearsal. So we're all gonna have a little nap and then wake up again in the afternoon and head over to practice. Hey guys, it's me Perth from the future. So before Not and I had our little nap, we decided to just chill for a bit and watch some Netflix. But unfortunately, because we were in Korea, when we opened up Netflix, it wasn't Netflix Thailand. It was actually Netflix Korea. And unfortunately there were no Thai subtitles available, but if we had today's sponsor, NordVPN, we could have solved that problem with one click of a button. NordVPN, tell me more. So NordVPN lets you change your digital geographic location with just one click of a button. So when we were in Korea, if we changed our location back to Thailand, we would have been on Netflix Thailand and had Thai subtitles on all the TV series. Also by changing your geographical location, you can get access to other TV shows and movies that wouldn't normally be available in your region. And it works on a variety of different streaming platforms. NordVPN also offers better internet security by filtering the info coming in and out of your computer, making it harder for people to hack or steal your information. Also, one NordVPN account can be used to log into a total of six devices, so it's really convenient if you have multiple smartphones or computers. So if you're interested in using NordVPN, I have a link down in the description below. If you use my link, you get 65% off a two-year subscription, which is less than $3 a month, and you also get four months extra. Or you can use my code PERTH at the checkout with any subscription and you receive a little gift. Thanks for the help, Saitama. Now let's get back to Korea. After waking up from my nap, I went and got a coffee and then hopped on the bus to go to rehearsal. All right, so I got my Isomac on, got my Oklahoma City t-shirt. Sweet home, Oklahoma. So we're about to do a full run through of the show before the real thing tomorrow. Wish me luck. We have to have this more space. And this is it's oversized, you know. Oversized like hats, small face. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Japanese guy. <laughs> we ended up finishing rehearsal at around midnight and then hopped back on the bus to go and get some rest. Morning guys, it's the day of the show. Got a decent amount of sleep last night, so now it's time to head downstairs, get some breakfast, and charge up for tonight. My favorite thing about hotel buffet breakfast is waffles. It's always the first thing I look for at a hotel breakfast, so let's go and check if they have some waffles. And they did, and they were delicious. Morning. <laughs> After arriving at the venue, the first thing is hair and makeup. Hair and makeup all done. This is my first time getting my hair and makeup done by Korean makeup artists and hairstylists. Usually when I get makeup done, the foundation is a lot darker than my natural skin color, but I feel like today it looks very natural. I like it a lot. Now it's time to put our phones away so we can concentrate on the show 100%. So I'll see you guys again after the show. Hope it goes well. It will. I know it will. And it did. But that doesn't mean I don't have a few stories to share. Close to the end of our bodyguard routine, we have a move which is like a side kick 
jump flip thingy. And actually, when I was practicing this move before our show in Bangkok, I injured my foot quite badly. So every time I did this move, I was a little bit worried and apprehensive. Even at the show in Bangkok, I did the move, but I didn't really do it well. I just kind of got through it without injuring myself. But at the show in Singapore, I don't know why, but I was able to unlock the skill and perform it 100% safely and correctly. So when we got to the Seoul show, I was full of confidence and was like, oh baby, I'm going for this one and I managed to jump higher than I ever had before. It's kind of hard to tell just how high I jumped, so let me show you again in slow motion. Oh yeah. We just finished, oh, Pimai. We just finished the Korean concert and... Of course. It's fun, it's fun. I feel like this is the best thing I've ever done. It's better, better. Every time, every time. Right now, we're just getting back to the hotel and then we're gonna go to the after party. Yeah. On the way to yeah. after party and food. <laughs> oh my god. It's time for Korean barbecue. I'm not sure if it was because of the quality of the food or because we were just all so happy, but we went on to eat the nicest Korean barbecue I'd ever had. It's the day after the concert. It's really cold right now, but I love the cold weather, even though I think my nose is turning red and I got a little bit of a runny nose, but I love it. Are you not going to go to the park? No, we're going to go to the park. In the park, what else? There's a park. There's a park. Namsan Ecological and Scenery Conservation Area. Sadiot. I helped Bako just a little bit writing his first song in English. It's good. Want to debut? Will I? Want to sing? Will I? I'm. I don't know. Maybe Barcode's first maybe original next year, song. Something. Next year? No, no, no. This year. <laughs> next year. No, next it's year. really good. And Barcode wrote all the lyrics himself, and he plays the piano himself. It's really good. Law you, Nakar. Ah. His his arms. His, his little arms are too weak. My tiny little Asian <laughs> arms are too weak to hold this gimbal. His guns are too weak to hold the stabilizer. <laughs> uh, loving wearing uh, cold winter clothes. And Actually, it's like perfect weather. It is perfect weather today. Nice and cold, but like it doesn't hurt like to breathe. Oni ta tang muen ani ya top gun. Oh, Maverick. Me wants to call sign gangsta. Gangsta. We're gonna team together. Ha, been. I think, what is it, my car sign would be Vegas. It would be Vegas, Vegas yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then our next stop for the day was the beautiful Han River. And now it's around 6 o'clock. It's starting to get a little bit dark. It's so cold and windy. Right now, next to the river, it's really beautiful. But to be honest, I did kind of underestimate the cold. It is chilly. <laughs> my hair's pretty much gone backwards now. After finally escaping the cold, we went to Hongdae to find something to eat for dinner. So it's day four. I'm going on a little solo trip today, catching the train by myself for the first time. So long story short, the hairstylist who did my hair for the show actually turned out to work at a pretty prestigious hair salon. So while she was doing my hair, I started asking her about different hairstyles and I ended up making an appointment to get a haircut and a perm. Successfully managed to get off at the right station. So right now I'm in Gangnam, I think. One thing I really love about Seoul so far is how hilly it is. Lots of walking and exercise. And I also really like the architecture. Everything's so compact and cute and squished together. I'm not really a big shopper, so I'm putting emphasis on experience while I'm here in Seoul. I think especially in Asia, Korea is like the top of hair and makeup. So I'm really excited to do my hair here for the first time. And then the process began. First thing was getting a trim, then they started rolling my hair up and then applying really stinky chemicals. The whole process took around two hours, which is probably why at one point I started to fall asleep. After the heating process was done, I got my hair washed and it looked like this. All right, this is the finished product. This is my first time doing a down comb on the sides. I'll try and do like a before and after shot so you can see the difference. I asked the hairdresser if there were any nice cafes around the area and they recommended me to go to this one. They also told me to get the Honey Bee White, which is this coffee here. It's a shot of coffee on milk with some honeycomb on top. The barista also told me how to drink it. So you take the honeycomb and have a bite, then have a sip of coffee, and then take another bite, and then drink coffee and then continue until there's no honey left. 
it was really, really good. It was actually my first time trying honeycomb, which was really nice. And the mixture of honey and coffee was awesome. Back at the hotel now, phone fully charged. And I'm about to head out to dinner with the boys. So I'm going to be heading out with Ba and then we'll be meeting up with other guys at the restaurant. And we finally made it to Gangnam. Gangnam style. So I was back in Gangnam for the second time in a day. Originally, we were planning on eating grilled salted eel. But unfortunately, Da and I were too late and everyone had finished eating. So we went and got something else. Look at this. Look at the size of this. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest tonkatsu I ever seen in my whole life. And that wraps up my time in Korea. Honestly, I was so full of happiness when I was there spending time with my friends, putting on a fun show and meeting fans. I couldn't stop smiling. It was just so fun being there, soaking up all the cold weather, making memories. Honestly, if I was maybe six or seven years younger, I would have loved to move to Korea for maybe one year and work and study the language. Even if I can't be back for work, I would definitely love to go back on a holiday. So Korea, thank you so much for having me and hopefully I can be back soon.